Hey guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. Today, I'm going to be setting up for September in my B6thology. I'm doing it a bit early because I'm trying to get a jump on things as I start back at uni in September. Pretty sure it's September. It might be October, but I want to get a head start on, on setting up some pages so I can do a bit of forward planning because got a few things coming up and going on but I've decided to go for a a fall theme so I've bought in I bought this in it came in a pack I think I bought it from um, Amazon and they come like that big and I cut that one down to be that size and they're gorgeous prints like they're not quite my aesthetic they're not like pinky enough to like put up but um, I can definitely cut them down and use them in here which is what I'm going to do so I've got that I've pulled in this old hello fall journaling card that I got from sweet choir designs I've pulled in quite a few bits that are from the DK designs subscription um, I've got a little calendar from the royal planner are you gonna focus just a September one, I thought the colours matched really well. I've also got my what, Coffee Monster Co one, and I've just bought in a few extra little bits that I think I might want to use. And I've also got my usual uh, inserts. So these are freebies from Annie, pra Annie Plans. And I've pulled in two notes pages, which I'm going to put at the end. I've also got... So a habit a new habit tracker sheet and my meal planning. So let's get into it. Yeah, I wanted to. Um, I'm just going to start by sticking things down on this page because it's pr pretty self-explanatory what goes on there. Yeah. So um, I've got my. No, my course starts in October, but I get access to all of my coursework and everything prior to that in September. So that's when I print out all of my um, to print out all of my like um, assignments, exams. I get access to all my textbooks, which I'll move to Good Notes on my iPad because that's what I use to. Um, to take my notes oh that's pretty that is and I was thinking of putting this up there because it matches really well um yes yeah, so I've got all like my study prep to do ready for it to start in October I've also got Casey's birthday this month she's gonna be 13 how do I want to put this I'm just gonna put it there I'm just gonna put it there Oh, I like that. So now I've got like, I've got this Hello Fall, which does look nice next to it. Or do I need a border of some kind to go around it? I haven't got browns, really. I've got those, neither of those go I don't think I've got any kind of like I've got this one what would that look like that goes I suppose Ooh. yeah I think I'm going to do a little border for this to go around and it's going to go up there and then I'm going to put just like a September script so I'll just go around the page and we'll see we'll see how it goes yeah my um first born is going to be turning 13 oh I spoke about it in my previous videos like my I'm going to be winging it from the when she's 13 because I have nothing to compare to my parents 
well, they parented me until I was 14. But they barely parented me. Is all I can say on that matter. But, um, yeah, so, and she's asked for quite a few things this time. And it's like getting more expensive as she's getting older which I suppose let's just corn round these corners off which I suppose is normal as they get older they want like more expensive trainers and things but not only is it um not only is it Casey's birthday in September, it's also Willow's birthday in October. And then obviously we have Christmas then, don't we? And I'm like, oh, and every year it's the same. So where am I putting this card? I'm putting it up there, so I do need a few down here. Yeah, so... Um, I'm on a bit of a, a tight budget. But we do it's the same every year. We do it every year. Loki's the most well off because his birthday's in May and there's, there's nothing around that. So, you know, it's easy for us to... plan. We do save and I do, like... I say for this time of year especially. So let's just plonk that down. There. Is that straight? It's as straight as it's going to be. And then let's get this September. I know fall, or autumn as we call it in the UK, is until the end of September. But I want my October theme to be um like halloweeny so i thought oh if i get if i do a like autumn theme in september october can be halloween november can be like bonfirey i have bought in this vellum but i don't think i'm going to use it but what i have got to put on is this to match that and I don't want to do that either because it doesn't match but I have got other tabs where's my little oh, I've moved everything around and oh it's here it's here oh and it I didn't shut it <laughs> I've moved everything around as I moved back downstairs but um yeah it's uh have, have I got any with mumps or any that's going to match this spread? I need monthlies really. Oh, how cute is that? That's really cute. Might use that. Timbers on these. I don't really want it to be that colour. Shall I make? Shall I make one? Because I've got. I've just pulled these out because I wanted to sort them out but I've got all these seals so let's just see if any of these fit fit the theme oh, that, that one does but it's not really oh journaling card you don't belong there um, any kind of like That's like a brownie colour. This 
think I'm going to go with this one so that all you have to do is pull it off one side, stick it, turn it over, get another one and try and stick it over the top and there you have a tab and that will take me to this page here so I think I'm going to leave that for now I'll decide a bit if I want to put some vellum or anything in between that but I do really like it I think I'm going to put a bit of scotch tape just down just down the side of this postcard it's advertised as like magic so you won't be able to see it that's bullshit because you can see it but not enough to bother me you know me guys you know me I do like this to go in this setup somewhere. Right, so what have we got? We're going to do our two monthly pages. So the first one is a normal monthly. Does it fit? No, I'm going to have to cut them down. First one's a normal monthly and the second one is for my highlights, which I then use... Where have I got that? Oh, which I then use to um, fill in my highlight of the day in my functional plan. These are all random different sizes. That's going to fit, isn't it? September. And then we need to chop a bit off here. Do the little bit off the other side as well. September, and then we'll do this one. Yeah, so what I've been doing really is just getting ready for Casey's birthday, like doing all her birthday lists. Oh no, I'll rip that one, that's not good. Doing her birth birthday lists. That's not good. Have I got another one of those? Yeah, I've got another one. In my little insert drawer. Because I went a bit too close. Yeah, sorting out her birthday list. It sure always gives me a massive one, which is fine because it's good for Christmas then as well. And they're just going to have to learn that the older they get, the less they get. Because there's just no way. Like Loki, he's four. His presents are like tiny, aren't they? Like you can get a massive like truck or something like that for like a tenner. Whereas Casey and Willow, Willow wants a laptop for her birthday. She'll be seven on her birthday. And I'm like... Really? That's what you want for your birthday? Like I've even offered her, she's got like a Amazon um, Fire Kids tablet thing. And I've even said to her, you know, do you want a iPad like mummies and a pencil so that you can like go on and do drawing and stuff? And she's, she's like, no, I want to play Roadblocks. But you can play Roadblocks on an iPad. Like I'd rather get her an iPad because I think she can do so much more on an iPad than, I've gone right over with that, than she can, I'm not sure, we, we had this debacle with Casey, she really wanted a laptop, and luckily we didn't buy her one, we, um, my sister-in-law had one that she wasn't using, like, and it was practically brand new, so she said, oh, do you want it to give to Casey for her birthday, because she keeps asking for 
a laptop and I was like, oh yeah, that'd be amazing. And she she didn't go on it at all. She's also got like the, the family iMac in her room, um, which I let her put in her room because I wasn't using it since I got my MacBook. So I don't want to go down the same rabbit hole with Willow as I did Casey. So this is really cute. But that's taking up some of the days. I just love these stickers. So what am I going to go for? didn't decorate I just put some numbered dots on which I enjoyed this is going to annoy me oh, rip that as well That one didn't even go on the seam. What is going on? Right, let's get it in the centre and fold it over and give it a nice crease. And then that one's fine. I didn't go too far in on that one. So we'll get everything down and then we'll come back and see how we want to decorate. So next up is a habit tracker. I want to start tracking my habits. And this, um, this insert is from oh, where's it from i've got some others that's in the wrong drawer i've got some other ones and basically it it's a digital student planner on the ice cream man's here oh, it cuts the name off but basically because it's a pdf you can still print out like the PDF so I just printed them resized them so that I knew that they'd fit in and because I'm not currently filling in my habit trackers in my home and each cousin and I don't I'm not sure if it's because just because I'm not reaching for it oh oh they're not good please don't rip please don't rip please don't rip please don't rip Please don't rip. Please don't rip. <sighs> what is wrong with me? Um, yeah, I don't know if that's because I'm not reaching for it for my daily journaling. Oh, this is a mess. <sighs> I'm not reaching it for for it with my daily journaling I tend to just be reaching for my B6 hmm, I've made that all wrinkly oh dearie dearie me this is my meal plan for the month I do find this shall I put it down there and I can stick that up there. This is from the D E D E K Designs. Oh, I love that. I love that. Live simply. And then I've got my little meal tracker. And then if I move that back one. That means I've got to move this one, forward one, 
so I've only literally got those few pages left but I have got stuff so I've got like school uniform left to buy I want to put Casey's birthday list in here just so like um, I've got a record of what I bought her for her birthday as well I just think that's but I always keep birthday lists in but I knew I was going to struggle with this planner because it only lasts in for two months whoa and it's on the wrong page oh you're shitting me This is not my day. Right. How much of that list is this going to cut off? Right, so I'm going to have to waste pages. And glue those two pages together. That's run out already. They don't last very long. I've only got one left. I need to order some more refills. Close that, close that, and away we go. See you guys, you make a mistake, you fix it. Then I'm going to have to give myself even less note pages. But to be fair, there isn't really anything in here that I need notes wise and I have got little Hobonichi notebooks if I do need to take some notes is that one gonna fit yeah that one will fit yeah I'm pretty much there with the school uniform there's just a few last bits like trainers shoes I know we're cutting it fine but I don't want to get them at the beginning of the month because they grow out of them so quick, don't they? Right. So, we have got the... What's this called? Like, what would you call this? The monthly overview page. And we go straight into our monthly calendar, our highlights, habit trackers, meal plan and notes pages so now i've got those in what do i want to do with i was pretty sure and i think i kept it in here no not in there in this one Like I've got August. I haven't got a September calendar just yet. But I do I do want to use this. And if I do it, so this is my normal calendar I don't think I've got anything on the 26 slash 27 but he's just too cute and then let's have a look and see have I got any like mini like 
like these ones I was thinking but more more goldy do I want to be that bold that bold with gold and then where's my Philo Fabulous have I got like a screeching gold in here? I've got like a leopardy print. I've got that one. So I think we can like gold this one up. Let's do that. You always want to fill in a spread when it's pretty, don't you? I don't need the I don't need the circles so let's get rid of those and then we'll white out what's there get rid of that just done that one and we need our white out I don't think these days would we'll show through these stickers they're that like in your face gold i don't think i'd ever use like gold like this again and it, i think like fall always reminds me why do i keep saying fall when we know it's autumn in england um yeah i think they're gonna look super cool uh what else have i been up to yeah so i set up my a6 rings and my A6 Stalogy as my like little collections planner and I'm really happy with it. I'm missing rings a little bit. Like I've been watching quite a few Rana and um there's, there's quite a few. I've been watching quite a few videos of the old rings and as like a functional planner, like I think it's amazing. But, because this, I don't know if I would call this functional, like, Dakshina makes hers look, like, really functional. But, I don't feel that I use this functionally. I still think... I'm a lot reliant on my phone and as much as I'm trying not to be I am the only thing that, that puts me off rings and the reason that I turned to what the reason that I went into bullet journaling and then I transferred from bullet journaling into Stalogy is because it's book is bound and the cousin the book is bound like you keep the book whereas with inserts it's not bound so it's kind of like you're you're losing you, like i feel like unless you store your inserts they're not in another planner like in a planner that's got enough rings to to fit a whole year of insert i don't think there is a planner that can fit a whole year well there is but you'd have to keep buying planners to fit the year's worth in if if that makes sense so but i loved it in my a6 and when i was planning weekly in my a6 i really did enjoy it and when i was sorting through my inserts the uh, drawer like last week or whenever it was i um i saw all the inserts i'd like put i pulled them out of the planner and clipped them together and i had a flip through i didn't keep them because i'm like what like I could, where am i going to put them and i think i double planned at the time anyway fortunately so i've still got like all the information that I need but yeah I just I don't know there's something about rings and like I was thinking like a really cool thing to do was find someone like Rana or um oh, there is others I feel really bad now because there's quite a few people that I watch and not copy but like make a functional planner the same the same as they do basically which which would be the same as i would plan as in i'd still have the same insert the collections planner has obviously taken all the bits 
of the rings that I don't put in here into there if that makes sense so all the things that you'd put in rings I've put into the collections palette wow look at that she sparkly gold right what gold have we got give me gold I know we've got gold we've got a shit ton of everything gold I don't know if I've got anything anything that's uh, like matching will that match or should we go green and gold because of the green in there should we do that I think I will because I love this washi tape it's one of my faves yeah so like I have alleviated the problem by setting up that um that collections planner and that's the reason I did it because I was missing on my like um for example repetitive tasks like the the car like anything to do with the car like if I put an MOT in this planner like it's only in this planner and then like there's no way of me remembering when the MOT was so I like to keep an insert in fact I'm just gonna I like to keep an insert that then I can look at that tells me you know when did I last change the windscreen wipers when did I last change the tires when did I last do an MOT when did I last clean the cooker you know all those kind of things is things that I want to remember and that's what I've put that's gorgeous I'm really really happy with that now it's making me want to decorate the next month as well and I could do the same. I could do the same. Put a little brown rainbow. Where am I gonna use this little gadget? I don't think I'm gonna get to use him, am I? I could make him into a uh, a little bookmark what am I gonna do what else can I do let's just have a look I always find if I have a look in my my little dailies so I've got these black are they classed as black they normally says on it with mm, black and gold But you have to cut them down, don't you? And I don't really want to be cutting stickers down. I think I'm just going to do the same again. Because, like, when else am I ever going to use these? I've had them. Had them for so long and haven't used them. So, what was I rambling on about? What was I rambling on about? Oh, yeah, rings. So yeah, all that kind of stuff is alleviated by um, me having the collections planner. But I do think I want to set up. Plus, I'd be interested to know how much it actually costs. to maintain that functional level, you know, buying all the inserts, because there's only certain inserts that I like. Will these move up? Old Philo Fabulous. Just move up a bit. Oh, yes. 
Yes, it will. Yeah, so that's what I did to alleviate that problem, and that problem is no longer a problem, but I'm still itching, because that's what we do. And plus, I feel like, you know, I've got a YouTube channel, so I should be showing you guys, like, different ways of planning, um, which ways are, like, more expensive and less expensive. I'm just going to quickly put these date dots down because you don't want to watch me do that again and then I'll be back. So that is all of those down and I found this little frog that came in the DEK box as well and I'm just like oh my god he's so cute and I'll use the same can I get it? Ugh. I hate it when you wash it it's stuck in your drawers <laughs> that sounds like your drawers as in your knickers I ain't getting <laughs> I'm not getting any washy stuck in my knickers, just in my drawers, in my washy drawers. I do like that and I like the fact that, you know, it's, I actually quite like the fact that it's the same. So they're both, oh, let's move you out so you can see. So there is monthly and there is highlights and I will write those in because I don't think I have those. I need to make some stickers for that. Then this habit tracker needs a bit of love and attention, doesn't it? So what can we do with you, Mr. Habit Tracker? I think I'm going to go in. Oh, there's silver. We don't want silver. We want gold. I think I'm just going to go in with this pink and gold washi tape I like it, it's pretty and it follows the theme of gold I can just go right along the bottom like that will it fit on the sides? that's good because there is only 30 days in September there's not 31 so I can cover that and then if I go as low as I can there that's fine and then I have got the same washi but really skinny not really skinny just not the skinny skinny ones but you know what I mean that I can put along the top because it'll cover that habit trackers but I know that it's a habit tracker it even says habits on there I just just do that for that and then this I like I like that and then my two little notes pages That's that needs something to stick that down but I'm scared of this stuff hate it where's my card I actually hate this scotch tape oh that one wasn't too bad maybe it's starting to like me and then I can fill in you know what these categories are so it will be school uniforms Casey's birthday and I'll leave those two blank so I'll decide what I want to do with those after. I'm happy with leaving that as it is. So that is it. Do I want to add any kind of vellum to the page? Let's just have a look in my massive binder. The binder, somebody asked me where the binder was from. The binder's from WH Smith's. 
and I think it was like three pound or something. I've got these gold leaves, but I've already used I used those in um used those in my other plan for my June setup. And I think it covers him up too much. I don't think I want to cover up him. And then all the rest are like ones that I'm not going to want to cut up. So, no, I think I can't wait to use those. I'm going to order more of them before I, before I use them, though, else I will get really sad if I can't get hold of those ones. But every now and again, there comes a time where there's a design and... I love it. So this is the monthly spread. This is the cover page. And then my monthlies, my highlights, my habit tracker, my meal tracker, which I'll date up and some lists. And then next we'll go on to setting up the weekly, which will be in a different video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, then give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one. But before I go, one thing I do want to say, and I've saved it, I'm saved it to the end because <laughs> I don't know if people actually watch all the way to the end or not. But I've had quite a few requests of people asking um, <clears throat> how they can support my channel. And I've also had a few requests lately um, if people can send me birthday cards. And the thing is, I'm, I'm not comfortable with giving out my address. Um, to, to lots of different people and I, I hope that you can understand that um, obviously for privacy reasons um, so yeah so but one way I did come around if you do want to support my channel or you want to buy me a birthday card I found a company which is called buy me a coffee and basically I've set an up account on there um, you click the link which is directly in the description below and you can buy me a coffee for my birthday or you can just buy me a coffee to support the, cha uh, the channel and you just pay by PayPal or bank transfer whichever way you want to all the options are there and yeah you can buy me a coffee for my birthday or just buy me a coffee to support my channel by no means do you have to do this. This is just for the people, you know, that have reached out and want to help um, with the channel and want to support me and also people that, you know, want to send me a birthday card and things like that. So, yeah, um, the link is down below. Click that and it will tell you what to do. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.